Well, coming up next on Born to Explore 4x4, we'll give the old War Rig some TLC and get it running again. And well, we'll better wait and go and test her out and throw her into some deep holes. <laughs> Well, the old girl, she's going to be escorted by the mighty mule on this trip. For the front and rear diff locks, she's going to be the support truck running on this one. Well, at the end of the video, it all goes wrong. The old mighty mule has to come to the rescue. And uh, yeah, save the old cruiser. Poor old girl, she really does need a bit of love. Well, nothing for it, let's get straight into it. Well, after cranking her over for quite a bit, it was obvious she wasn't just going to burst into life. So nothing for it. Got to get the old tools out, see what we can do. Turn the fuel line, see if we can get some fuel pressure up from the fuel pump for the old girl. Fuel pump's cam driven. Uh, it's not going, is it? Yeah. So what you do, you take your sonic off your foot, and we're going to pressure it's the fuel tank. So I'm going to try to use my sock here to make a bit of a seal around the nozzle. Pressurise the fuel up to the fuel pump and see if the old girl will go. Go tell me if there's any fuel coming out there, fuel filter. Nothing like a bit of petrol in the afternoon. Whew. All right. Now she's kicking the light. Pay close attention, you can see them hitting the dashboard. That's because the voltage hasn't come up. And I've got a charge light on the dashboard. Funnily enough, Taco's also not going. So, looks like the alternator's not charging up the batteries. So, I quickly discovered the fan belt's so loose it's basically doing nothing. So, I quickly tighten that up, try and solve the issue. But, turns out, after all that, 
sample is actually just a blower and fuse. So I swapped out the main charging fuse, solved the issue. Well, now there's nothing left for it. Let's get into it. All right, are you ready for this? Oh, here we go. <laughs> get the window up. <laughs> go, you old beast, you. <laughs> what a beast! Craig's driving the mighty Mew here, and well, it turns out I've stitched him up a treat on this one. I've forgotten to lock one of the front hubs, so as soon as Craig gets into the water, into the uh, fine gravels, she starts to go down. Now I love having three wheeling hubs in my vehicles, but well, every now and then I forget to lock the jolly things in. Sorry Craig, but as you see in a minute, with the front diff lock in and the rear diff lock and both hubs engaged the old girl drives out like it's nothing you would have thought she was just parked there okay stop there <laughs> now just first gear nothing too aggressive she'll get out look at that effortless it's amazing what this little truck can do with front and rear diff locks oh I know a lot of you guys out there know what that feels like <laughs> Now one of the best things I've ever fitted to the old girl was diff locks. As you can see, the old front diff lock here is working hard to pull it through the river. It's amazing how much this thing helps. Well, with the sun slowly disappearing out of the sky, it was time to have something to eat. For me this is like going back in time. I remember being a wee kid going out in the 60 series Land Cruiser, having barbecues and open fires down the river. It's a big part of my childhood. Been able to do this like going back in time. Well, 
the sun well and truly set, it's time to hit for home. <laughs> but that's far from the end of the excitement, as you'll find out soon. I certainly seemed to get myself in a lot of trouble right at the end. She went down, what was going all going on? <laughs> Woo! Just as I get through the deepest part of the channel, floor it up the other side of the bank for no reason, she suddenly cuts out. Rebel. At this point in time, we're not sure why the old girl was shut off. The risk is that she's taken on a gut full of water. And the last thing we want to do is try and start it and hydraulic the engine. So nothing for it, we're going to have to winch her back and try and figure out what's wrong. Luckily, the Muse fitted with an 11,000 pound run of a winch. Okay, great, you want to hold fire? Well, we get the old girl out, enough, we open up the airbox and find it's pretty much dry. Just keep all the intake piping to the carburetor is all dry, there's no sign of water and grease in the motor. 
And after we get it started, she starts knocking on the top end. So there's something obviously going wrong on top of the motor. So there's nothing for it. I've decided to jump on the Mew and head across in the hopes of winching the Land Cruiser up later on. Now the Mew's got front and rear diff locks and 355 newton meters on the dyno as well as brand new Cooper ST Max tyres. Look at that, the old girl makes it look easy. As you'll see in a minute, it's a lot steeper than it looks. in a 1980s Land Cruiser stuck in a river. Now Craig's done his best to get the Land Cruiser as far up the bank as he can but unfortunately with the old engine running like its pistons are made from old biscuits there's nothing for it. We've just got to winch the old girl up. Just like that, the last camera's gone flat. Well, that's it for us guys. We've had a blast making this episode. Let us know in the comments, what should we do with the old girl? Should we put a new engine in it or should we keep it original? Let us know in the comments. Till next time. <laughs>